They're looking, they're, they want to test any sense of independence on the part of Gorsuch, whether or not, as a judge, he'd be capable of making a decision that did not agree with Donald Trump, for example, the man who appointed him. Certainly, I think that's going to be a major theme. And in the backdrop will be the travel ban, because senators are pretty convinced that if yeah. he's confirmed within the year, possibly he'll have to rule on this. Sure, sure. Yeah, and that's one where already we've had several court decisions saying that the first the first travel ban and the second uh, do not pass constitutional muster. So could he actually rule, uphold that th those lower court rulings? Absolutely. And one other thing which is super nerdy but which your listeners should keep an ear out for is Chevron deference, which is this idea that federal agencies have the power to, to regulate – uh, based on sort of their own internal decisions. Chevron deference has been the key to things like the EPA's Clean Power Plan, mm -hmm. and Gorsuch is a noted mm -hmm. skeptic. Um, it would take, as far as I know, although I unfortunately am not a lawyer, legislation to overturn it. But if Gorsuch doesn't really put much stock in it in general, it will certainly influence his decisions on agency power. Even Scalia backed Chevron deference, didn't he? Yes. In, in that famous EPA yes. ruling. That, yes, it's yeah. a big reason why people call Gorsuch to the right of Scalia. Oof. Wow. Yeah. So they're not they don't want just somebody who uh who would follow who be another Scalia. They want somebody <laughs> Well, on this issue who would out to be Scalia, sure. even farther than out Scalia. Scalia, well, Scalia. Yeah. Uh, on this issue, I mean, of course, I mean, there's a reason that each senator gets more than half an hour for their questions here. We're yeah. going to find yeah. out a lot that we don't know. Okay. So um, they start the first hearing is today. How many hearings do they have, and when do they vote? Um, when they vote remains a moving target because, as you heard Senator Blumenthal say, Democrats yeah, have right. some leverage Correct. to stave okay. this off by a week, maybe more. I would say probably not more than a week after this concludes. Um, it's expected that they would vote on Thursday. There's mm. going to be, you know, one full day, one long 15-hour day of 30-minute rounds of questioning each. That will be tomorrow. Today will be taken up by opening statements. Right. Uh, and then Wednesdays, there, there'll be panels of people yes, who Wednesday, ex yes. express their support and their opposition from different organizations, and then maybe vote as early as Thursday, or start the voting process maybe as early as Thursday. That's I the guess. plan. Okay. And and Wednesday sounds like a perfunctory exercise, but, you know, as Clarence Thomas <laughs> has shown us, oftentimes it's the panels of people who know these justices who provide the, the biggest insights.